Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing one of the most anticipated products in, in ages, an NAD Master Series M10. This little compact yet mighty feature-rich streamer is one of the best implementations of a streaming amplifier I've ever found. Touchscreen, elegant display, a beautiful operating system. Streams everything, sounds great at everything, yet it's small and mighty. It's lovely. So, let's have a look. Okay, NAD's packaging. Now this is very, very muted for something of the quality. And I kind of like that. I like the appeal of just toning things down, not shouting with the, with the packaging. Nevertheless, we've got um, model and serial number information on two ends. At the top, there's a factory seal. It's one of those things with a little bit of texture in it. Then the Master Series uh, on both sides, and and uh, a little bit of a warning because, of course, it's got a battery in it to keep it uh, keep it alive. Operate it, uh, sorry, opening this really straightforward. It's sealed closed with uh, traditional uh, sellotape, running the, the blade carefully across. And we open into something a lot more elegant and perhaps a lot more fitting to the quality of the product inside the box. This beautiful sort of display quality packaging is now giving you a hint of the thought and quality of the product that's within. Taking it out is very, very straightforward. And at this point we have a look at the inner packaging, NAD M10. Blue Os, and a few other little things, it's every language under the sun, uh, Blue Os streaming amplifier, okay. Basic information and an emulation of uh, the product information and scan code for the serial number. Opening this box, very, very straightforward. It's got a simple little tag, and like many, opens like this. Okay, it's nice to point out the attention to detail. They've just added a little bit of flair to the packaging. At the top, inside the foam, that's the first little hint. There's a beautiful NAD sort of gold ingot of a thing. Now that's actually... NAD's manual and other information on a little USB stick. Now that's just beautiful, tiny little thing. Please hang around for some photographs. I'll, I'll show you some close-ups of this. But this USB stick is, is almost, well it is, it's collectible. Let's be honest, I would put that on any keychain. Um, uh, nevertheless, on it is all of the manual and information. Um, and uh, yeah, a few tidbits and things there. Drilling down, you've got a layer of that foam which held the uh, USB. You've got some information in user manuals. Now, this is just a very brief setup guide. The in-depth manual, of course, is on the USB. It talks about um, a Dirac Live and other things that it has on board, and a few, a few basic setups. Okay. The next layer, the next layer is protective, and it's closed cell foam molded to exactly the shape of the amplifier. Just drill in. We've got a, a pull tag bag, little soft one there. Just put that off to one side. A desiccant bag to uh, reduce up, you know, moisture resistance. And then another closed cell foam along with the accessories. So pausing for a moment, let's have a look at these accessories. Nice little box. We have got uh, ooh, cleaning instructions along with a little uh, lint-free cleaning cloth. We've got uh, power cords. Now, um, I had a little bit of a hint to the fact that inside the box for New Zealand, there isn't a New Zealand power cord. I've got a courier bag full of uh, all of the ones that I might need. This is uh, UK and Singapore, I believe. None of, none of which are much good to me. And then the actual usable accessories, which is in here. Okay. 
So in it is a USB to 3.5 mil adapter and a microphone for the purposes of utilizing the Dirac software. Getting to the cool stuff. Well, it's a small box, it's a mighty box, and it's a feature-rich box. But most importantly, it's a beautiful sounding box. And that's why I'm so happy to be sharing it with you. So, first look. Beautiful. Okay. Like many things with a glass or, or polished finish, it's protected on all sides with the, um, a plastic layer. Taking that off is very, very straightforward and essential, by the way. Uh, the ventilation is sealed um, by the top protective layer and needs to be removed before playing. In fact, there's a little thing there warning you to do exactly that. Peeling it off, very, very straightforward. Okay, simple thing here, all the way around, and then the tag for the top. Now that handy little warning label acts as a little pull tag, enabling that the top, uh, top protective surface can be removed easily. The, um, the top surface is a little bit thicker and a bit sticky. Get rid of that. And we start to look at this product for the first time. Now firstly, look at the finish on this. It's beautiful. As I mentioned, and oh, no, we'll get rid of that front one as well. As I mentioned, um, it has a, a front display and touchscreen. Uh, please hang around for some photographs. I'll, I'll liven this up so you can see some of the features of it. That touchscreen becomes the main interface. As an accessory, you can buy an NAD remote control for it, but most people are driving this from its app or from the touch screen. So the remote becomes a potentially unnecessary accessory, so it's not included with it. You'll see, and please, Again, hang around for the photograph, just how beautiful this product is from a finish perspective. Uh, it's not very heavy, maybe five to seven kilos, but it doesn't need to be. It's a hundred watts class D and with a 32-bit ESS DAC and some beautiful features as far as the quality of sound, it's a it couples brilliantly to its output stage, meaning that it can be very light and it can be extremely efficient. Looking at the back, this is where we see a very feature-rich product. Firstly, it's got trigger outs, which is very unusual for a small product like this. 12-volt triggers, an IR in, enabling it to be controlled from perhaps a multi-room or a sensor somewhere else, and of course the IEC power cord. Um, above that, we've got two analog inputs. We've got a pre-out for the purposes of using this perhaps as a streamer only into something larger, teamed up perhaps with the trigger to turn on and off an integrated amplifier or power amplifier to suit. It's got two subwoofer outputs. Uh, these are dedicated subwoofer outputs and in the software you can uh, have a play as far as the um, subwoofer uh, crossovers and things. It's got a coax digital in an optical digital in, and an HDMI. Now the HDMI is one of the new standards eARC, so it will handle all of the very high bandwidth um, sources. This is kind of important if you're using a Blu-ray player, then you say CD player or something like that, or this is sitting underneath a television as an alternative to a soundbar or something kind of average, with an elegant way of producing a stunning, absolutely stunning musical performance that couples with a television. There's a service button, uh, and then you've got a gigabit um, internet or network connection, and a USB. Now that USB is for all manner of different things, including the 3.5mm connection we see here. The next port is again for service, and that relates to um, diagnostics and other things, should this product ever need to be repaired. You've got at the, button, at the back a simple touch for standby, uh, of course, uh, with no buttons visible at the front for a very elegant uh, uh, look. They've opted to have that at the rear. Beneath it is the binding posts, and these are magnificent in quality. The same standard that we have seen on any number of Master Series products from NAD. 
It's a five-way binding post with a slight angle to it to ensure that uh, spades and other things can be fitted if required, bananas or bare wire. Underneath is a switch, and this is a little bit unusual. It's the ability to bridge this product mono. Um, should you start stacking these products and having a little bit of fun taking uh, your system to the limit, you can flick the switch and ensure that this can become part of many other larger systems if required. Okay. Now, tipping it over and having a look at the bottom, we've got, again, information associated with its serial number, a few cautions and warnings. Um, it's got Wi-Fi built in, it's got Bluetooth built in, it's got streaming from uh, NAD BlueOS, and it's got any number of different features, for both from its interactive app and its on board. So, there we go. This most beautiful, little, elegant amplifier, the NAD M10, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.